share to you the five things that I have observed and experienced which I like and which I enjoy. Starting with the fact that every student here is lent a computer. So it's one is to one. Every student has their own computer which is lent to them at the beginning of the school year once they're enrolled because it just it gives you endless endless possibilities of what you can do with them so this semester i try i am trying to use lesser paper so we're working more on on their computers and so far it's working so far i like the fact that every every student has their own computer which leads me to the second thing that I like. Every classroom has a built-in smart board, has a desktop, and has a printer. And that makes life so much easier. So much easier. How I am as a teacher, I like using technology. I like exploring technology using it to my advantage and for the benefit of my students so that setup having that smart board and a desktop and a printer and a personal computer as well a laptop lent by the district it just makes life so much easier for me so i like that i like that a lot the third thing i love about teaching here is power school it's where we encode students attendance and grades it is also where we can see student records including their grades and history and contact information and everything else everything that we need to know about the student is in power school and oh boy oh boy I don't need to spend eight hours writing the names of my students in the report card. I do not need to print a lot of paper, a lot of forms for the grades, for the attendance, because it's all in power school. And how I wish my, my friends back home could experience this because my gosh, the load it removes from teachers shoulders is is amazing it's beyond words it makes life so so much easier so much easier i'm not even exaggerating like i can remember back home we'd spend hours writing because remember we have let's say an average of 50 students and whenever it's time to give out the cards, especially the first time we do it, we have to manually write the names, the LRN, the birthday, uh, what else, the name, my name as the advisor, our principal's name, the grades for those 50 students. And that takes us hours and that would also result to errors and inconsistencies and then by the end of the school year we have all these forms we have the checking of forms and most of the time you'll see errors because we're doing it manually you know so this power school thingy it's a lifesaver it is a lifesaver I, I i just love it i mean i just love it whenever it's time to give out report cards the district the guidance office we just generate everything that we put in. They print out a copy of the report card of the progress report and all we need to do is to give it out to the students. And parents can also monitor their students or their child's progress because they can they have access to power school. So it's a win-win situation, you know? And that's why I like it. I love it. I love power school. Thank you for power school. And the next one that I love are my colleagues. Generally, my working environment, I just praise God for putting me in a school where 
I feel so warmly welcome and I'm not saying this because I have to I'm saying this because this is really what I feel our administrators our principal and assistant principals are just so supportive so whenever we have a problem with a child we send it to them and they never question us you know they know that once we send the child if we're just if we just detail it in the write-up in the referral they help us out they don't babysit the students they help the teachers out with discipline and stuff and that's a big deal i have a wonderful mentor who's not only mentoring me with things in the classroom but it's also mentoring me through life here so that's really a big blessing for me and I love the fact that I am part of this school family. I really am happy where I am. I'm at peace and I couldn't ask for more. I really couldn't ask for more. I'm just thankful for the kind of people that I've worked with. And the last thing that I love, I think this is a cultural thing. It's the fact that once work hours are over, you don't receive any emails any do this do that reminders from anybody at work like after work hours is your time it's my time holidays it's my time weekend it's my time our work email is dead silent dead silent unless there are emergencies like weather changes or certain announcements that need to be made because of emergencies but other than that like there are not like there are no reports are due do this do that it's due on monday or you have to do this can you please do this can you do a, pr a presentation can you submit this form can you submit this report nothing weekend is weekend holiday is holiday after 3 30 your time is your time if you want to work you can but don't expect others to cater your work-related questions after work hours. Again, unless it's an emergency. And I love that. I think it's something that our culture should also learn to do. Respect time. Because work isn't everything. Work does not comprise the entirety of our life. We have our personal life and we need time for ourselves for our family for our friends for our other goals that do not involve our work so yeah, I love the fact that I get to call my time my time and uh, yeah that's it so those are the things that I struggled with and the things that I love about teaching here in South Carolina. So I hope you were able to learn something or I was able to give you a glimpse of how life is if you're planning or if you're thinking of uh, teaching here in the United States, specifically in South Carolina. But although, take everything, take everything that I say with a grain of salt because it could be different. No, it would be different from school to school, from district to district, from state to state. So, but everything that I said is based on where I am right now and the school that I'm in. So, If you want more videos like this, me talking about my experiences and other stuff, please comment down below and tell me or suggest anything that you want me to share or talk about in our next videos. So if you did like this or if you got some salient information from this video please give it a thumbs up share it subscribe if you haven't and yeah i'll see you in my next one have a good day love 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 Mwah.